we've got the Dolphins. Burner at wide receiver. He rises when it matters most, and he comes in third in the NFL in touchdown receptions. It's the Dolphins and the Chiefs. All EA that Sports coverage of the National Football on League is EA on the Sports. air. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. Well, he did go 2-2 two and two in the last ball game. Well, actually, he went 2-2-1 two, two and one, with the 1 being the victory. Yeah. That's the bottom line there. But wasn't it funny at practice? He threw one when we were watching through an interception, and the defense got on him a little <laughs> bit good-naturedly, but they're letting him know you got to cut down those interceptions. We can't bail you out all the time. Yeah, two touchdowns. And this intercepted on the first play of the game. Buda Baker with a pick. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. So here are the Dolphins now with excellent field position to start things out. And they will be led out by their signal caller in his second year of the NFL now. And he's certainly putting together an MVP-type season, leading the league in both passing yards and touchdown passes. There have not been too many defenses have been able to stop him or even slow him down. So he's got a sight set on another big game right here. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. A great effort there. Touchdown number 18 on the year. And the Dolphins are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. And that touchdown grab has officially solidified his historic season as record-breaking. He now has the new NFL standard for the most receiving touchdowns in a single season. Congratulations. Elliott Good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Start the drive here with Pacheco. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, how many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty. Can make moves, make people miss, but also... The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Partner, we had their game last week where they had six sacks, so a little bit more momentum here again in the first quarter. And last week it appeared that they were coming out of sprinter's blocks, chasing the quarterback. So how do they continue that? How do they keep making it happen? Different looks, different disguises, 
different angles that they chase him. They were so disruptive last week. We'll see what the trend is here as we go forward. Throwing on second and long. Mahomes, he's airing it out for Williams. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Jamison Williams, 72 yards. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from drawing level. Charles, there aren't really any slow receivers, but there's fast and then really fast. He's really fast, and he showed off the afterburners there. And that he is because when he took off, I was thinking there is no chance that he can actually reach him with that pass. Yet he did, and he's still sprinting. And just think about what that does for everyone else on his team because his ability to stretch a field opens things up for the rest of the receivers on the team. Extra point right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback coming out for their second drive. And he is the NFL leader in passing yards here in the pit ultimate week of the seat. He looks to finish strong in order to capture the crown. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 42-yard line. He'll look to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. The Dolphins at 14 and 1 now on the year. And they come in on the heels of yet another victory. That ran their win streak, Charles, up to seven now. And I think that that last win, that established them and stamped them to me as Super Bowl frontrunners. They've come with extreme confidence. And you need that in order to go all the way. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. And that's the first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Chiefs offense and Rasheed Rice headed back onto the field. And with only two weeks left until the playoffs begin, you can see there he leads the league in touchdown receptions as the regular season nears its conclusion. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. From the 22, here's second and eight. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the 22. Throwing now is Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. Call it a gain of six on the play. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, it's Pacheco. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. First and 10 at the 33-yard line. 
to throw. It's Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. You talk about this Miami defense. Now, they've been a very good unit against the pass, defending at fifth best in the league. And this is what we talk game inside the game. Top five passing offense versus top five passing defense. I wouldn't be surprised defensively if they change up coverages a bit more than usual to try and combat what they expect to see. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Dolphins' drive will start deep in their own territory with a first and ten. The Dolphins' offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. He had the touchdown pass earlier, adding to his impressive season total as you take a look at the NFL leaders in touchdown passes at this point in the season. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. The numbers for him from a week ago, nine catches, 81 yards, and a touchdown. When you turn in good, consistent performances each and every week, you will rank in the top 10 in the league in receiving yards, and he's number seven currently, hoping to move up as time goes on. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And a throw right sideline is complete. And he's gonna be out of bounds right at midfield. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. Now, here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. Now, he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. They'll look to throw again. Quick hitter here, it's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Touchdown, Dolphins! From 21 yards away, and the Dolphins have taken the lead. What a great drive that was. A long drive, sustained, well executed. I love what we're seeing out of him here in year two, right? This young quarterback continues to evolve and grow. He's really the adage right now that John Wooden, the famous basketball coach, used to say. Be quick, but don't hurry. You can see that everything is happening for him but he's not taking it at a pace that he can't sustain. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to seven. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. KC's offense ready to take over. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. Well, this is caught by Williams. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. 
They go play fake. Mahomes. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. And the officials here going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. Always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to get the football back again. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Blitz came there from the inside, and there just wasn't much resistance. No, not at all. That means that defensively, they timed it up perfectly and matched up perfectly. They drew all the blockers to the other guys, left a free runner back to the quarterback. And you know what a free runner turns into? What? A free hitter. They'll look to throw here. And he's got his man on the out route. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. What do they have for this? Third and 11. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Here's Williams to return. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third down and 12. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. A 46-yard punt, four-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and five. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Second and five. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll leave him with a third and two. They'll set up a throw. Oh, he had him. 
He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the 8, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still first down. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Now here's Mahomes. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven. Now a second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Motion man right is Rice. Now Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And again, it's Mahomes. It's caught on the right side. Williams. And that one too wide and incomplete. Second and ten. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he comes back with one complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 31-yard line. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And down inside the 15 he goes. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Back to throw again. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Jalen Carter make that now eight sacks for him on the season. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team, they lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes throw over the middle. He finds Williams. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That is caught by Williams for a 
Kansas City touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be Previous confirmed by the replay the official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Point after, right down the middle. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. A 10-play drive that time. And it was Jamison Williams wrapping things up with a touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And the Dolphins with one final possession here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Second and five. Looking to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. I like what they tried to do there. They didn't get a completed pass downfield, but they came up with a momentum play. Big time gain on the previous snap. Came right back and threw one deep, hoping to catch him on their heels. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. Being chased out left. That ball caught. It's Rice. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So we have come upon halftime here in week 17. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you two in a bit. For now, plenty of early game action around the NFL to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. And it's the Chargers who are on top in the second quarter. Justin Herbert with two touchdown passes. Next, we head off to check out another game. And you can see they trail the visiting Cowboys. Donovan Peoples-Jones, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get up to Buffalo to check on the Bills. And they currently trail in that game against the visiting Patriots. Jalen Polk, a touchdown reception. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. The visitors' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. 
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 39 yards the distance covered on the catch and run. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. In motion, the tight end. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. This will be caught inside the 10. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. A gain of seven that time, second goal. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. He sounded almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that one or what? <laughs> they got into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. It's a loss of two, now third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. They'll try to run this one in. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. They were ahead of schedule after the gain of seven on first down, but the defense does not budge on second and third. One word comes to mind to me after that last play, and that's alert. That defense took a chance guessing the snap count, and they were so right. Got great push up front, and that forces fourth and goal. The kick by Elliott is good, and they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. And I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side said, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Throwing now is Mahomes. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Well, when I looked out, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. Uh, what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Now a play fake here on first down. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 
Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth when the ball. And he's going to go down. He sat back at the 24. Michael Dana just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. And he's got it. Touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his 104th career touchdown, one shy of Tim Brown on the all-time list. And the Dolphins take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. I think it's easy to say mission accomplished on that drive. The goal was to increase the lead. They did exactly that. Mike McDaniel, no hesitation on his end. He's telling his offense to go for two. In motion goes the tight end. They'll look to throw. Here's a diving catch right side. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. Oh, good return up past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Chiefs offense and Patrick Mahomes headed back onto the field. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best of the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you, an interception's result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Mahomes now to throw. That'll be caught by Rice. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as the tackle made at the 31-yard line. Now it's Mahomes again. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. And he winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. From the gun on third down, Mahomes got his man. It's Williams. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. And this one is right through. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. 
Well, no field goal attempts for him until the final quarter, but no hesitation on his end. He comes right out and nails his first field goal try. I give him a lot of credit, too, because he stood there the entire ball game, but has managed to stay with it both mentally and physically. When they called on him, he was ready, and he knocked it through the post. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They'll look to throw here on first down. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. Here's a second and five. They'll look to throw again. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. So another on-target throw, and that last one, Charles, going to put him up over 5,000 yards passing out for the season, and that is not an insignificant number. Indeed it is not, because this is not a big list, and most of the guys on it, Drew Brees, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Dan Marino, they either are or will be Hall of Famers. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead is up to 18 now. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. Now here's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, 
great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. No, oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They'll run for it with Pacheco. And a loose football on one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A handoff as they run the counter play. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. They'll look to throw. And this is incomplete. They're certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, it's the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. The Dolphins on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. Here it's third and three. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A great play there. That's his 18th rushing touchdown of the year as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Elliott good on the extra point, and they open the lead up now to 25. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. 
Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Mahomes going to throw. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because for here we are season in December. Of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out with this one. But the way this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. There they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he is going to lose yardage here. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the Dolphins, they move to a sparkling 15-1 with one game still to go in the regular season. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Kansas City, so long, everybody.